Huffington Post did a really great investigative report at uh, this retreat that all the executives at the for-profit colleges took in Lake Tahoe. Now, they're staying at this fancy hotel, the Ritz-Carlton, in Lake Tahoe, and they do this every year. It's an annual retreat. They get together for conferences, right? But as one for-profit college executive says, this is the best thing about the conference. We all get shit-faced and go skiing. <laughs> now keep in mind, keep in mind that 95% of their revenue comes from uh, federal funding, and it's federal funding in uh, the form of student loans and grants to all of these uh, students that go to their for-profit colleges, get a subpar education, graduate with a tremendous amount of debt, and then do nothing with their lives mm -hmm. except for default on their loans. And these guys love it; they don't care. Okay, now to be fair, there are a lot of uh, great students who have graduated from yeah, these yeah. schools and have done terrific things. Yeah, the now, great majority of them, though, have not because they've been lied to during the recruiting process into thinking that they're going to do great things with their degree, but they get like a doctor's assistant degree thinking that they're going to make a lot of money to pay off their loans. In a lot of cases, they either can't find a job or when they do find a job, they're making like $10 an hour. Right. All I'm saying is it's not the kid's fault. It's the, their fault for entrapping them um, in the system so they go get right. shit-faced and go skiing at these resorts. The Ritz-Carlton that they're staying at, of course, is a very fancy resort. Um, according to the Huffington Post, the time left for the finer things in life. Hours worth of skiing, fresh snowfall, enjoying $14 signature cocktails such as the tequila-laden uh, Tahoe Breeze and kicking back at the spa with a full slate of steam rooms and massage options. Here's the thing. They're going to say, look, we're for profit, that's in our name, for profit college. We made a profit, we went to the Ritz with it and had a great uh, time. Now, you know, it's unfortunate that their profits came out of our pockets. Uh, if they didn't, you know, do misleading advertising, uh, you know, if they gave a quality education, then I'd say, hey, how about it, Hoss? If they actually delivered on what they were going to say and they made money doing it and they decided to go to fancy resorts with it, I actually don't have a problem with it. Okay, so during this conference, uh, they basically got together to talk about how they can have a huge impact on politics. See, but again, that's, where, that's gets, where the real issue is, right? Here's where it gets dirty. So let me read you uh, what one of the pamphlets said. Uh, and this is, again, something that Huffington Post found. They did a really great job reporting on this because the for-profit colleges made the Ritz-Carlton in Lake Tahoe promise that they would not allow any media in there. Okay. Yeah, well, you know that's when things are dicey. Right. So um, Trent Lott, he's a former Senate Majority Leader, uh, was quoted as saying, Our industry will continue to face intense scrutiny at both the federal and state level from legislative and regulatory issues to investigations by state attorney general. Next year's elections could drastically change the political environment in Washington and around the country. It will be important for us to monitor the next two election cycles to identify ways to insert our messaging and make a significant impact on targeted races. Now think about that, right? They're at a gathering where they're all uh, getting together and you would think that they're, since they're colleges, maybe they might be talking about, hey, how do we educate kids better? You know, maybe competition for different professors, deans, et cetera. No, the conversation is how can we fix the political system? And you know what, it's a rational conversation, because as Anna pointed out, 95% of their funding comes from the government, from those student loans. So what do they care 95% about? The government, and making sure that they've bought enough politicians that if the landscape shifts, they've got enough Democrats or Republicans in their back pocket that they continue that gravy train. And which, by the way, they do. President Obama promised huge change there. In the end, their proposal wound up being 5% change, literally in this case. And With of the course, Gainful Employment Act, yeah. Yes, and of course Mitt Romney has already promised that uh, he will do even less.